Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is another haul. So obviously I've been to my favourite places. If you've watched my videos before, then you'll know that I love to visit Home Bargains and Poundland and that's why I've been um, today. So I'm going to share with you everything that I bought there. So I hope you enjoy. Right, so we're going to cover everything that I got from Home Bargain. So I did pick up, um, so I did get two bags full. Now I took my own bags because I constantly keep buying new ones, which is not the way to go. Um, if you've seen um, my video, I actually folded all my bags up. Um, I actually found so many of them um, that I, I I could recycle some of them. So some of the plastic ones I recycled. And then obviously these type of ones, I've got some in my drawer here that I keep upstairs. And then the rest are like folded neatly um, in a little box under the stairs. So And I have folded all the plastic ones as well. So it's always good to reuse these. So I'm not intending to buy any more. So you might have seen this one before. So anyway, let's get into to what we bought so i went into a um, home bargain and the first thing that i picked up as well sam now he really wanted the brannigan's crisps now they're so hard to get hold of i believe that you can get them from poundland i couldn't find any in poundland so i picked up these seabrooks he does like sea salt flavor so i got those for him slimming worlders i don't think we can have these so there are no no for us so i picked those up as well they also had the last one of these, and I just love this. This I don't know if you can see it properly. It's got kind of like a, a marble effect going on there. Can you see? Let me just put this back down. Uh, it's basically things to do today. So um, it's basically just a book that's uh, to, with a to-do. So you've got like the date, sorry, the day and the date, things to do today, and then obviously a list of everything that you want to do. And it comes in this cute little book um let me just check how much this was right so this was one pound 49 which i think was absolute bargain to be honest one pound 49 and i do love it so i'm going to leave this on my desk as uh, a reminder of everything that i need to do because i'm always making lists uh, i wake up in the night and i think of what i need to put on my list i know it's really sad but that's just the way i am <laughs> right next up as well um are you one of those people that just has lots of change now, Sam always has change on him and it always ends up on the side or in, in like a fruit bowl or it's in the car in some of those little compartments and it ends up everywhere. And we've probably lost so much, um, just lose change. I mean, I generally spend mine because <laughs> I like to shop if you haven't noticed, but Sam always has coins everywhere. So I thought it would be a good idea to collate it all in one place. So this is like a money jar, but it actually counts how much you've got in as well, which is really good. So, I mean, I'm not sure how it works. I'm obviously going to need a battery. Um, it was um, 2 dollars which is an absolute bargain. It's an absolute steal. Um, it has got a digital display on the top there. So I think, yeah, you're going to have to pop a battery in. I need a little screwdriver as well. And um, I think it'll just count. It should know apparently what you're putting in there. I don't know how it knows, but it knows. It says it detects the coin value and has a digital display. Brilliant. Okay. Right, we've got to give that a whirl then, haven't we? So yeah, I got that and actually thought it was a really good price for um, 2 dollars So I got that as well. I also picked up um, two of these. If you remember, I said that I needed a couple more in one of my previous videos when I was doing my um, utility. Uh, you might not have seen that video yet. Bear with me because I've been swapping things around. But yeah, I needed in that video when you do see it or if you've seen it, depends on when this goes live. Um, is the tidy of my utility sort of laundry room um, and I needed a couple of extra jars but I didn't have them for the video so because I needed to put we do we have bird seed I have like bird hangers in the garden so I wanted to put the bird seed in one of them and then the other one was for the um what was the other one for oh the other one was for the laundry wagner at the minute I've got it in them tubs um, and I thought it, the aesthetic would just look better because it actually sits next to the other one. Um, these, by the way, I don't know whether I've mentioned before, come with pink lids if you like pink. I do like pink, but I love grey, um, especially for like, items. I like to wear, obviously, so I've got grey jumper on today. Um, but yeah, I like pink, certain pink things, but um, I do prefer grey when it comes to like, household things. So 
I got two grey ones and I think they're £1.49 each. Really good, really solid, solid um, tubs as well. So really good. So I picked up as well, we needed some bin liners. We're down to our last roll. So I picked up two more rolls of those. I think they were um, £1.00 something. And I can't find the rest of the receipt because I actually went back in again because I forgot something. So that one from before was the little receipt. But yeah, I think they're only like a pound or something. Now, I also picked up two anodine. You know me well. If you watch my videos, I always collect those. Um, and these were on sale as well. These were the Zaflora Tropical Twists. These were on sale for a pound, which I thought was amazing. Um, so I got um, one of those. I got some a couple of cans of pop as well. These were 55p, it says on the thing. I'm not sure if they were that price, but um, they weren't obviously any more than that. And I got him some Fanta lemon as well, which he drank yesterday. I did get myself one, but I drank it too. Um, and I picked up some polish because I had run out. So when I tidied everywhere, kitchen sink, utility, I realised I had no polish left, not one can of polish. So I picked up this Pledge Kleenex Multi-Surface Cleaner in the classic smell. So I got that as well, which I think was like £1.9. And then the amazing thing was is that the Fabulosa are now doing these sort of sprays. Now these are like um, disinfectant sprays. They're suitable for vegans, that's what it says on the side. It's obviously sort of a, a diluted version of your Fabulosa. So this one's in Lemon Mint Leaf which is absolutely gorgeous. And this one's in unicorn dust. I was only just gonna pick this one up, but then I thought, I oh, know I want the unicorn dust as well. And they're only a pound each. That is amazing. Um, I can't wait to use these because they smell so good and you can just spray them anywhere. You can clean surfaces with them, can clean kitchen cabinets with them, clean desks with them, everything. Um, so I'm gonna be using them. My house is gonna smell amazing. So it's gonna be good. Right, last but not least, boring I know, but um, I needed some um, Buffalo Absorbency Triple Power Kitchen Rolls. And I think these were like £2 for three, if I'm not wrong, that might have been £2 something. Um, but yeah, I got those as well because we only have one left. Um, right, let's move and my battery's flashing at me again. Oh my god, I've done so much filming lately. I'm running out of battery. Uh, moving on to uh, Poundland. Um, this is this bag. Uh, I picked up some squares, Slimming Worlders. I think these are four sims left for me. Um, again, they were a pound. Um, they did a lot of, um, oh, one more thing. Corned beef, we like to have potato hash sometimes, so we'll run now, so I've got another one of those. Now they did have um, a lot of get fit stuff now. So I picked up this uh, weekly meal planner. Now this isn't the paper one, I've got a paper one, but this is like a whiteboard one, and you get a little pen with it as well, so that was a pound, and you can just write down. It doesn't have any magnets, but you could pin it somewhere, I guess. Or you could prop it up somewhere. But I'm just trying to think. I've got a utility, so I might put it on the notice board there somewhere. Maybe put a little clip on the top and you can hang it up on one of those pins. I might do that, actually. So, yeah, I've got that as a meal planner. Um, they also did these two-in-one fruit and veg cutters because I'm thinking about, like, I'm really funny. I like apple, but I like it cut up. You know, I don't just, I do eat it like that sometimes, but it's so much nicer when it's cut up. But you've got to be careful that it doesn't go, starts to oxidize because then it got, starts going brown, doesn't it? So, but you could cut like carrot sticks with this, and um, potato if you want to make um, something well chips. And um, there's two different types in there as well. So you've got your apple one, which is the one in the bottom, and then you've got a chip one as well. So there's two types there, and you I think you just pop them in, and they're quite sturdy as well. So I thought they were really good. And um, that was only a pound, so brilliant. Right, next up, we got these um, portion control food containers. Now, these are really good because they're labelled as well. So you get seven packs of um, different containers. And they're, they're like, obviously, to put little bits and pieces. So they say veggies. Some say carbs. Um, so I'll open that one. That one says veggies. This one says carbs. Um, the little one says healthy fats. 
seeds and then the tiny one inside that says seeds and dressing so you can make your own obviously i'm in slimming well so you can make your own little dressing and stuff and put it inside the tub i love the colors of them as well which i thought was really good and then the other one says uh, proteins and fruits and then there's a little one in there that says seeds and dressing as well so they're like pink ones and orange ones so i thought they were really good and that was two pounds right so last thing that i picked up from poundland was this guide to fitness journal now actually they had a few a few different ones in uh, poundland but this one was the one that sort of um uh, it should have been actually just before i carry on should have been eight pounds um and it's got um a little booklet in the side where you can write stuff which i thought was really good um, and inside it is a it just gives you some really good exercises so you know if you're struggling to think about what exercises to do it is a book full of exercises so if you wanted to like do your arms or you know you want warm-up exercises or you know different ones depending on which area you want to target it is like that it's not just like a comprehensive guide to like fitness or anything like that it actually gives you some really good exercises so what you could do it actually tells you how to start out as well which is really good so yeah i'm really looking forward to having a little look at that because obviously i want to get fit like we all do in 2020 i think it's on everybody's sort of like um news resolution every year and obviously it's on mine as well and i you know um from previous videos that i do have a very small gym in the garage that does need some tlc at the moment so this week while we're off work i mean i do plan to tidy that out and um, i will uh, show you the finishing touches of that as well which i know i keep saying in different videos but i really need to knuckle down and just just do it basically so anyway that's it for the video i hope you enjoy it if you want to give me a big thumbs up that'd be brilliant if you want to subscribe you can do it in the link below don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'll leave it on the screen and i will see you all in the next video Bye.